Hey everyone, um, obviously I'm changing things up as mentioned. Um, I'm no longer going to cover Defiance on a daily basis. However, uh, this video is part, you know, it's going to be how the new format's going to be. I'm going to cover the <clears throat> end result for the entire week. And again, the reason for this is realistically, I just can't keep up um, with monitoring something daily and posting videos on it daily on top of yield max. So what I can do is um, monitor, you know, keep the data, you know, the trades um, throughout the week and then plug them in as I have time um, and then complete it on the weekend and then make the video on the weekend. So it'll cover the trades, you know, basically from Monday through Friday and how they did. So that's what I'll do today. So this is the first version of the Defiance weekend uh, wrap up. Um, but yeah, same idea, same look. I uh, changed up a few things, simplified it. But so here it is. Um, let's get to it. This is QQQY. So if you see on the left, I have the expiration dates. So we, we have we had four days last week. We had, um, you know, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. You'll notice that the third and the fourth is in italics and that's because uh, the intraday trades were not available so i had to plug in based on you know my essential essentially like the guesstimates not a guesstimate but it's <clears throat> i use the holdings um as of the close which is not going to be 100 percent accurate so in summary um again since this is a weekly version i'm not going to cover the, all of the details every single day but what's key to look at here is if they made a profit or not, right? So if you look at the second, right? The open price was 63 three bucks and they had to pay $326 per share. So we got whooped that day, all right? And then on the third, more of the same, 63 credit, 201 debit. So we got whooped again. And then on the fourth, we pretty much got whooped, just not as bad. <clears throat> and then finally, on the 5th, which is Friday, we did good. We made a profit. So how does that look, you know, overall? When we, we go to, you know, we can see profit loss. Okay, we, we lost, you know, you know, Monday was terrible. We lost 2.4 million. The next day, we lost 2.2 million. Wait, the 4th was, yeah, the 4th was a debit. Why is that green? Okay, we lost money. Every day except Friday. Friday we made over nine hundred thousand. So you know, when the week closed, essentially we're, we we're at a debit of six point one million. And then going into next week, they have two positions, which I'll cover. You know, on the Monday wrap up, of, of course. But you know, they're they're going to make seventy one dollars or sixty eight dollars per share. Why is this yield not coming up? You know these funky. 16 it's got to grab the 15 okay so yeah this is how much they're yielding um based on again 100 percent payout the strike price going into monday is 16,340 the break even is 16,272 essentially um, you know, extrinsic and intrinsic are pretty much the same, but in the end, if it's a hundred percent profit, they'll make over a mil, which is good. But you know, that mill will still leave it at a $4.9 million debit. So we're in the hole for QQQY for the month. We still have a decent amount of time, but yeah, we're down 4.9 million, which means we're not going to get paid. Here's the breakdown if you want to see it, but in summary, it's not looking good at the moment. They can recover still. Uh, things just have to go, you know, things have to turn around. The market has to be either flat or, or green for this to work out. So, so that was QQQY. Let's go to JEPY. You know, same setup. So, <coughs> again, if we look at the, I, I made some grid lines. Last week, we had the second, third, fourth, fifth. All right. Now we look at the open and close price. You know, we, again, these are the credits per share. We got 1240, we lost 37.17. So the second, bad. The third, 
Third and fourth, I wanted to make the whole thing italics. There you go. Okay. So the third, we got a $10 credit, or and then we got a $40 debit. So we lost that one. The fourth, $15.70 credit, 26 debit. Another loss. And then on the fifth, Friday, you know, similar to QQQY, Friday was a win. So ugly, ugly week for JEPY. And if you want to see the numbers, again, the profit loss, um, we took a loss of, on Monday, we lost about, you know, 550000 The next day, we lost 667000 And then the following day, we lost 234000 Friday, we finally closed the profit, you know, over about 360000 which left us at a debit of 935000 And then going into next week, you know, they, uh, they have two positions, 162 contracts and 62 contracts with a 47.05 strike, 0.17% in the money. Break even is 46.90. So, you know, it could be, a if it's 100% profit, you know, we're looking at about 355, 355,000, which would put us at a debit of 580,000. So, you know, we're still in the hole with Jeppy, but it is what it is. And by the way, I didn't mention this on QQQY. It's a really good time to buy because if you look on X-State, it dropped, right? And then after that, it dropped and then it dropped again and then it dropped again and then it dropped again. Friday went up a little, but it's still below the X-State because typically X-State is the best time to buy. Or if it goes under the X-State price, then that's the best time to buy. So these funds are really a great buying opportunity. This is not financial advice, by the way. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for fun and entertainment. So, yeah, we're not, as of now, we're not getting a payment on this one either. So let's take a look at IWMY. Oh, the baby woke up. Um, all right, so again, we had, you know, we had four trading days, but IWMY, they don't always have the daily contracts. So we only had the second, third, and the fifth. So if you look here, open price on Monday, was that they made 1620 or 1650 and then they lost set 2720. So they lost that one, they lost on the third, nine dollars versus 55. And then Friday they almost lost two. Uh, QQQY and Jeppy did much better on Friday, but IWMY just barely made it out. So if we look at the profit loss bucket, again they lost 280,000. Well, they lost really like 550,000 on Monday. And then they lost, um, no, that was Tuesday, sorry. And then on Wednesday, they lost $2.4 million. And then Friday, finally, $44,000 credit, which left them at a $4 million debit, okay? Now, going into Monday, they have 265 contracts um, and 263 contracts separated, both with the same strike, though. They scatter the strikes usually, but they not this time. 1960 strike, that's 0.45% of the money. Um, break even 1947. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, intrinsic is greater than the extrinsic value because they went pretty deep in the money there. Uh, they'll make about over, you know, over 700,000, which will put the debit at 3.3 million. But again, still in the hole. We are in the hole for all of these. So, um, yeah, that's the gist of it. So if we go to payments, same thing again, and then comes a loss right now. Um, so we essentially owe them money, which obviously won't happen. And again, if we look at the price from X date, X date was 2006, it went down and then down and then down and then up a little on Friday. So, uh, again, a great buying opportunity for IWMY. Let me go to QQQY because I didn't show the price on that. You know, X dividend date drop, and then the day after drop and then a drop and then a drop, a drop again, and then a little recovery on Friday. So all three of these funds so far are not making money, which means great buying opportunity. Um, me and myself, I'm, I'm going to get paid for him from Yield Max like everyone else on Tuesday. Uh, well, Tuesday afternoon because it's Charles Schwab. And then I have to, I'm probably going to make a you know, small purchase. Maybe in each one of these, I'll have to figure it out. Um, I think I have 100 QQQY. 50 JEPY and then 25 IWMY. So if anything, I'll probably make IWMY a bigger position 
um, you know, bigger risk for them, but bigger reward at the same time, as you can see. So, so yeah, this is the weekly wrap up from, you know, obviously the, the prior week. I'm not going to, you know, again, I apologize, but I just, I can't realistically do the daily videos anymore. Um, but, you know, as mentioned in my post in a prior video, um, Max Convexity has a YouTube channel and he dove, he covers these not only daily, but he usually makes three videos a day to see, you know, he, he covers where we are in the, in the morning, um, during lunch, and then after the close. So if you want the frequent updates, you, you would go to that channel. If you don't care until the end of the week, then obviously you could tune into my channel and I'll post these. Uh, typically, we'll do it on the Sunday. I'm actually re recording this on the Saturday because I had a second when the baby was napping. However, the baby's awake. Um, but, you know, obviously my wife is dealing with that right now. Um, so, yeah, this will be the weekly wrap up. Uh, I'll post it on the Sunday morning and then, you know, you guys can watch it. I'm not going to post it on Saturday because it will interfere with the Yield Max uh, video. So anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Oh, by the way, Cash and Treasuries is no more. But I don't think you guys care about that as much. Maybe some of you do, but I don't think it's a big deal at this point. Um, you know, we know how it works. So let me know what you think about the weekly wrap up. Are you going to watch it? Are you going to tune in every Sunday to see the status? Um, again, I pretty much automated a lot of this. So I'm going to keep trying to do my best to automate it. Uh, but even, you know, where I stand today, I, I will be able to cover this every week. I don't see that being an issue. Um, and then obviously I'll cover Kony and Tesla on a daily basis going forward. You know, outside of that, I'll do the other videos um, as I can. Obviously, I do, you know, status updates. Um, ETF reviews are just when I have extra time. Um, next one on the agenda is a coin ETF, not coin ETF, coin stock review. Uh, just to see how the, you know, how it's doing. Um, because we all talk about coin way too much without talking about coin. Anyway, let me go attend to the children. Uh, but if you guys enjoy this, please click like uh, if you have any questions or let me know, you know, or you want to let me know how the weekly wrap up went. If you like it, let me know in the comments. It's greatly appreciated. If you hated it, let me know as well. Um, but what did you hate about it? You know, more importantly, so I can make it better. Anyway, got to go. Have a great rest of your weekend. Later.